Welcome to a journey into the heart of the animal kingdom, where cooperation reigns supreme. Today, we're diving deep into the captivating world of cooperative behaviors in animals. In the wild, cooperation isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. It's the glue that holds together intricate ecosystems and allows species to thrive in the face of relentless challenges. Just like these lions, many animals rely on teamwork for survival. Cooperation isn't limited to just one species, it's a universal concept that shapes the destinies of countless creatures. Whether it's birds soaring through the sky in perfect formation, ants building colossal colonies, or dolphins working together to outsmart their prey, the animal kingdom is a treasure trove of fascinating cooperative behaviors. So, join us as we uncover the secrets behind these extraordinary alliances. From parenting partnerships to cooperative hunting tactics, we'll explore the diverse ways animals come together in the wild. Get ready to witness the incredible stories of unity, survival, and thriving in the natural world. It's time to embark on an adventure to discover the cooperative behaviors that make the animal kingdom a true wonder. Let's begin! Cooperative behavior in animals refers to a fundamental aspect of their social interactions, where individuals work together to achieve common goals, often resulting in mutual benefits for all involved. This behavior involves the coordination of actions and efforts among group members, with the ultimate aim of enhancing their collective success in activities like hunting, parenting, defense, and resource acquisition. Cooperative behaviors are not only fascinating insights into animal social structures but also demonstrate the adaptability and sophistication of various species in the animal kingdom. One key concept underlying cooperative behavior in animals is the principle of mutual benefit. This means that individuals engage in cooperation because it offers advantages to both themselves and their partners. In cooperative interactions, there is typically a reciprocal exchange of services or resources where the costs incurred by one party are outweighed by the benefits gained. This mutualistic relationship serves as a driving force for cooperation as it ensures that individuals are more likely to engage in cooperative acts that are advantageous to their own survival, reproduction, or overall fitness. Cooperative behaviors can manifest in various forms across the animal kingdom. For instance, in the context of hunting, predators like wolves and lions often collaborate to capture prey that would be difficult or impossible to catch alone. By working together, they increase their chances of securing a meal and, consequently, their chances of survival. In the realm of parenting, cooperative behaviors are observed in animals such as meerkats, where multiple individuals share the responsibilities of caring for and protecting the young, reducing the burden on any single parent. Additionally, when it comes to defense, certain species employ collective strategies like flocking birds, where large groups provide protection from predators through sheer numbers and coordinated movements. These examples illustrate how cooperation is a vital aspect of survival and reproduction in the animal world allowing species to overcome challenges and thrive in their environments. Cooperative behaviors in the animal kingdom come in various forms, reflecting the diversity of species and their ecological niches. These behaviors can be categorized into several distinct types, each with its unique characteristics and implications for the individuals involved and their species. Mutualistic cooperation is a type of cooperative behavior where individuals from different species work together for mutual benefit. A classic example of mutualistic cooperation can be seen in cleaner fish and their clients. Cleaner fish, like cleaner wrasses, remove parasites and dead skin from larger fish, clients, in exchange for a meal. This mutualistic relationship benefits both parties, the cleaner fish obtain food, and the clients get rid of harmful parasites, leading to improved health. Altruistic cooperation involves individuals making sacrifices for the benefit of others, often at a cost to themselves. Meerkat sentinels are a notable example of altruistic cooperation. In meerkat groups, certain individuals act as sentinels, perched on high ground, keeping watch for predators while the rest of the group forages. These sentinels forego their own foraging opportunities and take on the risk of predation to provide early warnings to the group, enhancing the safety of their kin. Reciprocal cooperation is based on the idea of you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. In this type of cooperation, individuals cooperate with the expectation that their partners will reciprocate in the future. 
Vampire bats are a fascinating example of reciprocal cooperation. These bats share blood meals obtained from their prey with other group members that were unsuccessful in feeding. The expectation is that when the donor bat is in need, it will receive food from others in return, ensuring the survival of the group as a whole. Kin selection plays a crucial role in the evolution of cooperation. It involves individuals cooperating more readily with close relatives because they share a significant portion of their genes. This concept is often associated with inclusive fitness, where individuals contribute to the reproductive success of their relatives, indirectly passing on their genes. For example, in social insects like bees and ants, sterile worker individuals cooperate in tasks like foraging, defending the nest, and caring for young relatives, ultimately enhancing the reproductive success of their queen and related siblings. These different types of cooperative behaviors illustrate the versatility and adaptability of animals in their efforts to secure resources, protect themselves from threats, and increase their chances of reproductive success. The study of these behaviors provides valuable insights into the intricate social dynamics and evolutionary strategies of diverse species across the animal kingdom. While cooperation is a widespread and vital aspect of many animal societies, it is important to acknowledge that it isn't always seamless. Within the dynamics of cooperative animal groups, challenges and conflicts can arise, reflecting the complexities of social interactions and competition for resources. Conflicts and competition within animal groups are common occurrences. In cooperative settings, individuals may sometimes vie for preferred roles or access to resources, leading to disputes or hierarchical struggles. For instance, in a group of lions, there may be competition among lionesses for leadership roles or access to high-ranking males. These internal conflicts can disrupt the cohesion of the group and influence the allocation of resources. One significant challenge in cooperative settings is the presence of cheaters or freeloaders. These individuals take advantage of the cooperative efforts of others without contributing their fair share. For example, in cooperative hunting scenarios, some animals may exploit the efforts of their group members to secure food without actively participating in the hunt. Cheating behavior can undermine the overall success of the group and may lead to resentment among cooperative partners. These challenges and conflicts within animal societies highlight the intricate nature of cooperation and the need for mechanisms to mitigate them. Evolution has shaped various strategies and adaptations to address these issues, such as the establishment of dominance hierarchies to reduce conflicts, the enforcement of cooperation through punishment or ostracism of cheaters, and mechanisms that promote inclusive fitness, encouraging individuals to cooperate more with close relatives. These complexities reveal that cooperation in the animal kingdom is not always harmonious, but the benefits of collaboration often outweigh the challenges, leading to the persistence of cooperative behaviors in many species. In conclusion, we've embarked on a fascinating journey into the world of cooperative behaviors in animals. Throughout this video, we've explored various facets of cooperation, from mutualistic interactions to altruistic gestures and the remarkable ways animals work together to secure their futures. The importance of cooperative behaviors in the animal kingdom cannot be overstated. These behaviors, driven by the pursuit of mutual benefit and shared goals, are not only essential for the survival and thriving of countless species but also offer valuable lessons for us humans. We see in the animal kingdom how unity, teamwork, and collaboration lead to increased efficiency, enhanced protection, and ultimately, greater success in the face of challenges. As we wrap up, I encourage you to take a moment to appreciate the intricate and diverse ways in which animals cooperate. Their strategies for hunting, parenting, defense, and resource acquisition are not only awe-inspiring but also remind us of the power of cooperation in our own lives and communities. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of cooperative behaviors in animals. If you found this video informative and engaging, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more educational content on the wonders of the natural world. And if you're hungry for more knowledge on animal behavior and cooperation, check out the links in the description below for related videos and additional resources. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep marveling at the incredible world of animals.